Welcome to the Transformational Soul Show with your host, Ruth Saltman. Are you ready to experience more stability in your life? You can change your life and be who you are meant to be, your authentic self. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the Transformational Soul. My name is Ruth Saltman, and I want to welcome you and thank you so much for joining me this evening. We are streaming live right now on YouTube, Rumble, Facebook, and Twitter. If you are out there, I hope you will say hello so that we can chat a little bit with you. Hello, Richard and Robert. Welcome. Nice to have you here. I also ask you if you would please, please hit the like or the thumbs up button um, and please share the show. I greatly appreciate that. Um, I also invite you to check out my website, ruthsaltman.com. Um, that's R-U-T-H, S as in Sam, O, L, T as in Tom, M as in Mary, A, N as in Nancy.com. And you can go to my website and find out all about my books, my oracle cards, and my services. I hope you will check that out. Goldilocks Productions is on Telegram, and we have a wonderful, wonderful group over there. If you haven't joined us yet, please come over there and join us because we share information daily. We share lots of wonderful music and videos and information and if you like any of our shows, you will love that group. So I highly, highly urge you to come and join us. And don't forget to check out the Goldilocks Productions um, Oracle Cards. Energize. Um, <clears throat> there's a link to order them directly. And if you get your own, you can you can get messages from us every single day. That would be so awesome. And, we, and Goldilocks also has an online merchandise store. So I, I hope you'll go and check out the designs. We've got some awesome things over there. You can get some shirts, sweatshirts, uh, mugs. There's just a ton of different things. And there's like a whole slew of, of different um, designs. Hello, Joyce. Nice to have you here. I would like to wish a very happy birthday to everyone who is celebrating this week. I want to wish my daughter Kristen and her husband, Jacob, a happy anniversary. And let's send out some love, light, and healing to all who are in need. Let's remember Robin McGuire and her son, Carolyn and Carrie's daughter, Carrie, G. Brian Benson, Veronica, Holly, Kim, Maureen, and Brandon. And to all of those who are in need. We all need a little bit extra once in a while. If you would like to give a tip or donation, you can do that via my Venmo. A Rumble Rant, or um, uh, which is on Rumble, obviously, or a Super Chat or Super Sticker on YouTube. Um, your tips and donations are very much appreciated. It does help to cover the cost of the show every month, and I really greatly appreciate that. Now, if you do make a donation during the show, like through Venmo, um, please put that in the chat so I can thank you and give you a little bit longer reading. Because I don't usually check my phone while I'm doing my show. And then I won't know that it's there until after. Thank you to all of you who joined us this past Saturday for the Spiritual Message Circle. We had an amazing show. It was so much fun. And this week, all of the show hosts were there. So it was just awesome. And I know a lot of you um, joined us. And we really appreciate that. If you haven't joined us before, we, we have them usually twice a month, and they are announced well well in advance. And for a donation of $20, you can hop on over there, and you can get a message from all of the show hosts that are available that night. So that's pretty exciting. And it's really interesting, even if you don't want to get your own, you know, uh, pay for a message, when you listen to some of the messages that are given, a lot of stuff is going to resonate with you. And you know it's going to, that it's going to be for you as well. So I really urge you to check that out. 
we always have a great time. There's always a great, great energy with that show as well. Hello, Thomas. Nice to see you here. <clears throat> so did anybody see the solar eclipse on Monday? I would love to hear about your experiences if you care to share. We had full cloud coverage here, so we weren't able to see anything. But I certainly felt the energy. Between, between the solar eclipse and the number of other planetary things that were, have been going on, the energy has been extremely intense. I've been feeling it a lot. Um, you know, we've had these energy waves, but this week in particular, the last few days, the in energy has definitely, definitely intensified. Um, I've been feeling it in my body with nausea, pain and discomfort in my joints and different areas of my body, stomach issues, headache, dizziness. Uh, my hands have been vibrating a lot, sometimes my whole entire body. Um, it depends on what I'm doing and like if I'm really being still and just chilling for a few moments, I do feel it throughout my whole body. Have you guys noticed anything different? I would love to hear your experiences as well. So I keep tabs on the Schumann resonance throughout the day. And right now it's at about 36. And what I noticed is we've had two areas where it blacked out today. So, you know, the energy is extremely intense. Now that measures the frequency. So the frequency has been off the charts. Um, so just, you know, keep that in mind when you're going about your day. See what you notice different. See what you can tap into. See what you can feel that feels different. Joyce said she saw it, but through the glasses. I wouldn't want to be me today if I was anyone else. Hello, Robin. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, I had Judy all prepared for the eclipse. Um, I had the dogs all prepared. I told Judy, you know, what was going to happen and it was going to get dark. And it would feel like nighttime for a little bit. So then when nothing, well, we couldn't, we didn't have that experience here. So for like hours, she's asking me, you know, is it dark yet? Is it dark yet? No, no. So, you know, I'm glad I kind of prepared her because I wouldn't want it to get suddenly dark and have it, you know, scare her. Because I know the dogs can react a lot to that as well. Our dogs, the old, two older dogs seem more chill. They did, um, especially on Monday. Um, the puppy, who's less than a year, had tons and tons and tons of excessive energy. And it's continuing still. All week she has. So I've noticed, that, you know, noticed it with the pets. <clears throat> noticed it. Um, I've noticed a lot, too, that, like, since Monday and since all of this stuff is coming coming kind of to like this, like, you know, it's all accumulating together um, and all this intense energy. I've been riding the waves pretty well. Sometimes they, you know, knock me for a loop, but once they start, um, I guess, resonating more or integrating more, I start feeling pretty dang amazing. So I'm kind of liking this. I feel, um, I feel really good way better than, you know, like a couple of weeks ago, my energy levels, I mean. Um, hold on. Okay. So one thing I have noticed different this week is, you know, some people were so hyped up over, you know, what was going to happen on Monday. You know, aliens are going to land. Um, it's going to be the end of the world, the rapture, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you name it. And people were saying it. And, um, but what I'm feeling is I feel a new calmness. I know the energy is really intense, but it's a different kind of energy. It's a different kind of calm. Um, <clears throat> when I sit outside, when I like tap into like energy all around me, that's how it feels to me. Oh, and before I forget to tell you guys. The rapture has been rescheduled, okay? So according to a post that popped up on social media from Fox News, it will now be April 23rd. 
Sorry, I just couldn't resist. Some of these stories, you know, have been so crazy. And how many times in the past few years have we had the date, you know, this is the day the world's going to end. This is the rapture. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. We're all going to be gone. Um, it's, you know, it's hard to even keep up because every month, pretty much, they come up with a new date and a new reason and a new whole story surrounding it. So, you know, take it for what it is. It's a bunch of fear mongering. And I really detest that. I think that's really, you know, they're preying on people's, sometimes their biggest fears. Because some of the videos I've seen have been absolutely ridiculous. You know, absolutely ridiculous. Um, let's see. Oh, Joyce said, she, she worded that wrong. She means that no one would want to be around, wait, would want to be around me today with the mood of, oh. So it's pretty intense for you. I see. Thomas says, I'm going to send a donation to Venmo, Judy, and Larry. would love a reading if you have time. Let me add them to my list. And how cool. I have new cards today that I'm going to use. And look at what they are. Inner child cards. How awesome is that? So I'm going to be using those in a little bit. Um... <clears throat> Richard said it got cooler and seemed like a shadow. Yeah. I remember seeing an eclipse when I was a child. Robin says, I have been feeling like I am moving when I'm actually stopped. This has been happening all day. How neat is that? Um, hello, Sarah. Nice to see you. So one thing that me and Judy experienced yesterday um, so she, we're outside on the porch and she's blowing bubbles and she goes, grandma, it's raining. And I'm looking around. I'm like, no, I, I think the rain stopped, honey. She goes, no, look. And we looked across the street at our neighbor's driveway and he's got a truck parked there. And up at the front of his truck, there's like a, an area like this big and it looks like rain coming down. So I'm watching it for a minute and it's kind of going at an angle. So I'm, I'm thinking, oh, he's probably washing his truck probably the hose so we sit there for about 20 minutes watching and you no know, never saw him never saw the the hose nothing it was just i don't know what exactly it was if it was just raining in that one spot it was just really weird however when i looked over there his driveway wasn't wet so it kind of gave me a little bit of a chill and it was really cool that judy's the one that brought it to my attention and saw it first so I think that's pretty cool. Robin said, wow, I can't wait to see those cards. I am addicted. <laughs> You're so funny, Robin. And Richard. Richard is off to work. Have a great night, Richard. Robert, thank you so much for your um, super sticker. I greatly appreciate that. Um <clears throat> So I have been hearing that this energy, as intense as it is right now, is going to be lasting for a few weeks. And we can use this energy from the eclipse in assisting in our manifesting. And I've noticed a change for myself this week. Um, this energy is encouraging us to try new things. It's... Um, urging us to step beyond our comfort zone. I know I've been inspired a lot just these last few days. And it almost like some of that, I think is what has my head spinning because like so many ideas are coming to me and it's really exciting. I just need to slow it down a little bit so that I can, you know, focus on exactly where I want to put my attention. Um, and it's also created this energy for me to finish up some projects and to start some new ones. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. Um, hmm. So <clears throat> welcome in this energy. I mean, you don't have to. You can block this energy if you want to. I don't know why you would want to, but um, <clears throat> open yourself up to it. Let it help you transform things in your life. You know, ultimately the choice is yours. You can reject it, you know, and send it back. You can just ignore it or you can accept it and 
help it to integrate and ease itself into your energy field. Let go of the stuff that no longer serves you and make room for all of this amazing, all of these amazing new things. If you don't make room for it, how is it going to come to you? Um, make sure you stay hydrated. That's one thing I've noticed with myself. Um, is that I've been needing more water. I'm using the Celtic salt. So that helps a lot. It helps a lot. Um, and continue with the self-care. Self-care is really, really important. More than ever before, we need it now with all of this intense energy. And get excited about the future. Get excited. Make plans. Put out your intentions. You can do everything that you've ever dreamed of doing. Dig into that treasure chest that you brought with you. All of those gifts that you brought here to explore and to use. Share them with the world. We need that now. We need that very, very much. Don't shy away. Don't hesitate. Take the lead in your own life. Take the lead in your own life. Be a leader in your own life. Don't let others dictate what you can and cannot do. If you have given your power away, take it back. Right now, take it back. Don't ever give your power away to anyone or anything. If you've been receiving some new ideas, take them and run with them. Don't wait another day to live the life that you want. Because you know what? We're not promised tomorrow, right? So don't put off till tomorrow what you need to be getting started today. Don't, you know, put it off because of fear or money or anything. Once you put those intentions out there to manifest things into your life, you don't need to worry how it is going to get to you or when it is going to get to you. You just put those intentions out there of what it is you desire and it will come to you. Hello, Heather. Nice to see you. Hello, Sam Sam. I gotta write you guys down here. Robin. Heather. Sam Sam. Uh, let's see if I missed anybody. Sarah. Nope, I got Sarah. <clears throat> Try to write you guys down as you come on so that I don't have to scroll back up. My scrolly thing doesn't work very well. I used to be able to push the little arrow down at the bo bottom and it would just move for me and it doesn't do that anymore. Now I have to pull the entire bar, which is just hard during the show. Um, but I want to tell you, like, I had a great weekend this past weekend. Um, did a lot more stuff than I normally do. And I was a little bit tired, but it was a great weekend. Saturday, I saw, got to celebrate my birthday with my kids and grandkids. We had a great lunch, spent a lot of good quality time. And then on Sunday, I got to go to Brandon's Jiu-Jitsu tournament, which was pretty amazing. It was downtown Houston. We had to be there at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Eight, Yeah, I think it was 8 o'clock. And um, so, you know, getting up at 6 on Sunday was a challenge. But, you know, we did it. And we went down there, and it was it was so much fun. His matches are only like three minutes long. And he does more than one, though. And um, they're, it's pretty intense. It's pretty intense watching these kids. Uh, I didn't really realize when he first started jiu-jitsu, like last year, I didn't realize what it was like. Harley had taken karate when she was little, and I just kind of thought it was something like that. But it's, it's all about these, like, moves and these holds and different things. And to watch it, it almost looks like wrestling. Uh, you know, we are down on the mat. But Brandon, congratulations. He came in third place. Got a beautiful, beautiful medal. That's actually metal. Um, that was one thing that surprised me. I've noticed a lot of times when the kids have some kind of sports and stuff, the little, the medals that they get or the trophies that they get, they're all plastic. And this was heavy metal. It was, it was, it was nice. And it was pretty dang big too. It was probably like that big, you know, so that was really exciting. And I guess he's going to have another one next month that we'll get to go and watch. Only that one will be more 
you know, in, the, in their area instead of having to travel too far. <clears throat> but that was really exciting. So I wanted to share that. So these inner child cards I got as a birthday gift. And I want to read you what it says. These are by Amanda Lynn Aisling. And it says, the inner child oracle is a powerful tool for seekers of deep healing and spiritual realignment. Each of the cards is infused with the energy and wisdom needed to address past wounds. We all have those. And begin the process of self-renewal. Well, okay, we're not the guy. We're not worried about that. Featuring unique messages and beautiful artwork, this deck offers a safe and supportive space to explore and heal your inner child. Let this Oracle deck support you on your journey to wholeness and peace. So I got to uh, look at these a bit today and got them attuned to my energy. And they're really nice cards. I really like them. This is what the, um, the one side looks like. It's, they're absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start giving some messages <clears throat> and Robert I am going to um, I'm going to do yours first I thank you again for your um, for your super sticker I greatly appreciate that oops um, da -dum, da -dum. And let's just check. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Now, my son that lives in Michigan, he said that they had a hundred, what, no, I think he said 94, 96% totality, and they had a clear day. And then my brother who lives up by Dallas. He said, you know, they got, they could see everything there too. Oh, let me tell you. So last night, you know, we, when we were talking about the eclipse and about the animals and how they can feel the energy. My dog is very sensitive to thunderstorms. She always has been. Now, and it doesn't even have to be the thunder. Although she did wake me up at 2.30 in the morning when we had, we had a thunderstorm last night. But she, she reacts she can feel it in the air because we can go outside and you can, I will know that we have a thunderstorm coming. That's why I'm taking her out. You know, but even though she hasn't indicated she wants to go because I'm hoping she will, because I know it's going to rain or storm. She gets, she'll smell that air and she will not go outside. She wants to go right back in. She senses it. She knows. Um, last night we had a, hur um, a hurricane. We had, really massive winds and rain and a hurt there you go again a tornado struck probably um maybe 20 minutes from us or so and that was when we had our massive storm but she was like off the rails last night her whole body was shaking like like she was having a seizure um and she just gets so scared she's so pitiful so I just put her in, you know, bed with me and I just snuggle with her and she, sooner or later she goes back to sleep. But yes, we did have that nasty storm that came through. And according to our weather now, it's supposed to be pretty decent for like the next week. There wasn't any rain in sight, which was nice. But I thought it was quite comical. Um, on Monday, we had cloud cover all day until until um the it was no longer in our our viewing area the eclipse was no longer in our viewing area then the sun decided to come out and it just kind of made me laugh because a lot of times you know when we have a full moon or something um we'll have a cloudy night and i've you know people have joked about it before about the full moon and oh it's cloudy again you know it's going to be cloudy because it's a full moon Shh. she can hear the kids playing outside so she's a little antsy. 
Now she's shaking my computer. Maggie, move it. Move. Get away from there. She's been pretty awesome for the last few shows. I guess I can't uh, complain too much. It's not an earthquake. Although, you know what I did read today? That earthquake that happened last week in New Jersey that was felt by a lot of you guys. Uh, I know Joyce and Robert um, both commented that they, they felt it. I saw today that there today was the 47th aftershock. That kind of blew me away because I've heard of them having aftershocks after a hurt, uh, after a, why does that word keep coming out? After um, an earthquake, but I have never heard of there being that many before. I thought that was pretty incredible. Okay, Robert, let's get you a card. Robert. What do we have for Robert? Okay, Robert, your card is number 41. And it says, you can do hard things. You can do hard things. Um, it's not as impossible as it may feel. Now, how true is that? How, you know, sometimes the thought of something that we have to do you know, we build up this whole story about it. Oh, that's going to be so difficult. Or, oh, it's going to be too time consuming or whatever. Then when we actually start doing it, it's a completely different experience than what we had thought. So do hard things if you have to. Um, because you can. Because you have the patience. You have the abilities. And they don't have to be hard. They can be as simple as you put your mind to them being. And nothing is impossible. And Robert, it's time to celebrate. Celebrate something. Even if you just get up and celebrate tomorrow that it's Thursday. That's a reason to celebrate just getting up in the morning, right? How many people, you know, don't have that, right? Some people aren't going to get up out of bed tomorrow. Celebrate the fact that you did. It says cultivate an air of celebration today. And when we have that celebratory mindset, um, think about how, how much more fun and how much more joy you have in your day. Think about a little kid. They get up and, you know, they know it's their birthday. They know they're having a birthday party and having a bunch of people over. And then they get up and they see some decorations and they have that anticipation and that excitement. And, you know, all of that, they're just looking forward to it so much. And then everybody comes and celebrates them and celebrates their birthday. So celebrate something in your life. <clears throat> and, and while you're at it, celebrate every little milestone or accomplishment that you achieve. You know, sometimes we think we have to wait until something really big happens. You know, like a wedding or an anniversary or a birthday, or a certain holiday, or a job promotion. But we need to be celebrating every step along the way, every, every single step. So <clears throat> find more things in your life to celebrate. So I hope that resonates with you. And you know, Robert, that is going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of joy. Richard. <laughs> I kind of had to laugh. Richard, they're telling you to get lost. Get lost, Richard. Look at that beautiful picture. That kind of reminds me of the chandelier from Phantom of the Opera. My all-time favorite play. I love that. Um, it says, fall deep into the realm of imagination. You know, we can get lost in imagination, can't we? I can remember as a kid sitting in school and just daydreaming and just imagining like all sorts of things or a lot of different things would come to me when I was just kind of, you know, in the zone. 
Um, nowadays, when kids do that, they get diagnosed with something. You know, it's really kind of crazy. Um, but get lost deep in your thought. Get lost in imagining what your life should be and what you want it to be. Because when you're doing that, you're beginning to manifest, right? You're starting to figure out exactly what you want your life to look like. And it might be completely different than what you thought a year ago because you've grown and you've changed and you've healed. So look inside there and see how much has changed and if your goals are different now because that's going to change the intention that you put out there. Hello, Devin. Yay, Devin's all done with his work today. So I hope that resonates with you, Richard. Joyce. I got Joyce. Let's see what we got for Joyce. Oh, I like this. This is beautiful. Joyce, you are enough. I don't know. I feel like that's not very clear. It says, you are enough. You do not have to give more, Joyce. You are enough. And sometimes we let things in our life, I don't really want to say beat us down, but make us feel like we're not enough, like we're not good enough, like we're not worthy enough. But we are, and you are, Joyce. You are more than enough. Um, you know, if you have to look in the mirror every day and tell yourself, I am enough, you say it enough and you hear it enough, you will believe it. Even if you don't know, uh, maybe you do know that already, but don't worry about having to do and give more and more and more and more. Um, you are loved for who you are and don't worry about what you can or can't do for other people. You need to focus on yourself. You need to be a priority in your life. Okay. Thomas. We got Thomas. Let's see. Thomas. It says, say yes. Yes, yes, yes. And it says, now is the time to be open and receive. Now, I know, and I was always like this too. It's always easier for us to give than it is to receive. Um not that we think necessarily that we don't deserve it or that we're not worthy of it. Um, it could be for many different reasons. But in order to be a giving person, you have to be open to giving. And also that same doorway is where the receiving comes in. It's okay to receive something from someone else that they are so so much like wanting to give to you let's say um when you say no you take away that person's blessing you know if someone wanted to do something really nice for you you know who knows what um and you're like no 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 and you're not accepting of it you're taking away their blessing of giving because you know how good it feels to do for others and how good it feels to give. And when you do, you feel blessed. And then the person that you're giving to feels blessed. It's the same way when it's the opposite and you're on the receiving end. So keep that in mind and keep yourself and your heart open to receiving. Because you want to keep yourself open to receive all the good that's coming to you in the universe. Okay, what do we have for little Judy? Judy, Judy, Judy. Hmm. Let's see what we have for you. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one for Larry. I got hers already pulled. All right, Judy. Well, I don't want to do the same one. <clears throat> okay. Look at this one. Emotions are the reflection. She's one of my favorite people, too, Tiffany. And it says, emotions are the reflection. Look for the deeper meaning. You know, Judy, sometimes you get upset and you might start crying for what seems like absolutely no reason. And that's only because you get frustrated because you can't express what you really want to say. So what you need to do, sweetie, is just start feeling your feelings. Now, you use a lot of big words like actually and um, situated. You use some big words. So you should be really good at telling people how you feel. If somebody hurts your feelings, then you need to tell them so they don't do it again, right? If somebody upsets you, you need to tell them so they don't do it again, right? Because when if you just start crying about it, nobody knows what's wrong and nobody knows how to help you fix it. So you start tapping into those feelings, Judy. I love you. Laren. Disappointment is not the end. Disappointment is not the end. I know many times when you are a child or a young person, it can definitely feel like it. It said there is hope even in the darkest of nights. Sometimes we don't get what we want. Or we might get it, but in a different way. Um, it might not look like it. It does in your mind. We might have to make little alterations or little changes. But that doesn't mean that, um, that it's not coming to you. Because it's going to come to you exactly the way it is supposed to. So anytime you have a little disappointment or something doesn't go the way you want it to, it's okay. Because it's happening exactly the way it is supposed to. It might not be the way your mind thinks it should, but it's happening exactly the way it's supposed to for your best good. So the next time something doesn't go the way you want it to, you remember that. Sarah, 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 Sarah. Today is the day, Sarah. Today is the day. <clears throat> today is always the day, right? It's not tomorrow, it's today. It is time to begin the journey. You are taking another journey, or this is like an extension of your healing journey so far. But I love that today is the day. That's right, because that's all we have is today. Don't put off anything until tomorrow that you can do today. And it's so funny because I've learned, you know, I've I, I've always said that. I always said it to myself. And I always, that's one thing that I've had to learn the hard way. Because just like everybody else, you know, we might get busy or you might feel a little tired or feel a little lazy and be like, ah, I'm not going to do that today. I'll put that off till tomorrow or the next day you know, depending on what it is. I've had the situation where I did that and like the next day, oh, thunderstorm hit, we don't have power. Now I can't do what it was I needed to do. Um, and stuff like that has happened to me several times until it finally hit me. Don't put it off. If you can, whatever you can do now, do it. Don't put it off. Um, so today is the day for a new part of your journey to start. And that's really, really exciting, Sarah. I'm sure you are feeling very sensitive to all of the energy now as well. So tap into that. Use it to help you. Use it to help you to manifest and use it to help you get rid of that stuff that you don't want hanging on anymore. Oh, there goes that card. Okay, Robin. <clears throat> 
Robin, Robin, Robin. Let's see what we got for you. So since I have so many grandkids, I can't exactly tell Judy, like, you're my favorite granddaughter or you're my favorite whatever. So I tell her she's my favorite three-year-old. Because with the exception of some of theirs overlaps a little bit, some of the kids. Like Hannah and Brandon were 10 months apart. So for a couple of months every year, they're the same age, which is really funny. <clears throat> But so that's why like, I'll try to come up with something like that um, for the grandkids. Because honestly, I don't have a favorite grandchild. They're all special in their own way. Every single one. Robin. See so we have for Robin. Hmm. <clears throat> So, Robin, you also got the Say Yes card. Be open to receiving. Get rid of that stuff that's no longer serving you so all of that good stuff can come into your life. And I feel like there's a lot of stuff waiting there for you. And I also feel like as far as your treasure box goes, I feel like you've got more stuff to share. And I feel like some of your gifts are going to be... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, not multiplying, not magnifying, but they're going to be a little bit more, I don't want to say intense. That's not what I'm really feeling. But they're going to be, um, increasing in strength, I guess would be a good way to put it. They're going to be increasing in strength. But be open to receive all the good that's coming to you, all the gifts that you have, and all the love that is around you. Because, my friend, you are worthy. You are worthy. You deserve all the good that is coming to you. You've done so much healing work. Um, you've made so much progress. And that's really exciting. Okay, so I hope that resonates with you, Robin. Sarah said, very fitting. Thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. You are very welcome. I love and appreciate you, Sarah. Robin says, thank you so much. I love this. This touched me so deeply. I love you. I love you too, Robin, and I'm really grateful that it resonated with you. And Heather, what do we have for Heather? Hmm. Heather, get lost. Get lost. Get lost in your wildly creative imagination. <clears throat> there is nothing that you cannot imagine. Therefore, there is nothing that you cannot manifest in your life. Manifesting is, you know, not the, I don't want to say problem, but it's not the, the, the difficulty like that I always perceived it was growing up. You hear that word manifest and there's, oh, there's only special people that can do that. No, it's all about your intention and all about the, what you focus on and all about how clear you can be with your intention. Sometimes things may not manifest the way you want, but a lot of times that's because we're not clear with our intention, right? We can't be wishy-washy about it. We can't be, you know, well, I kind of want this, but I kind of want it that way. No, you have to be extremely specific. And as you're imagining that, as you're visualizing that, as you are focusing on that intention, that energy is what goes out into the universe, that energy is what gets um, um, received by the unit by the universe. The universe matches it and sends you what you want. You know, if you want more more things in your life, 
show gratitude for the things that you already have. <clears throat> you know, that's kind of like when you get a gift. Um, <clears throat> let's say, you know, you get a gift from someone and you don't even say thank you in appreciation of what they did for you. What does that say to the universe? That does not send out, wow, I'm so grateful. Give me more to be grateful for. No, it's totally the opposite. <clears throat> You know, if you're not grateful for that, why should the universe send you more, right? So, hmm. I think, okay, I think that I just did a message for Heather. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I just got, got a little bit lost there. So just let me know, Heather, if I gave you a message or if anybody remembers that I gave her one just now. I thought that's the one I was doing. I try to cross the names off as they go along, but sometimes I forget a little bit here. and I don't want to miss anyone. Sam Sam, set boundaries. Claim your power and know your value today. Set boundaries. Maybe boundaries were something that you didn't do. You know, when you were younger, maybe you didn't know how. Or maybe you had a ton of boundaries, so you don't like them now. But sometimes we have to set boundaries um, to protect ourselves, right? For our own protection. Um, do not give your power away to anyone. No one. No one. And no thing either. You have to claim your power. You have to stand in your power and don't worry about what other people think. I know that's hard to do. I know that it's um, a lot of people worry a lot about what um, other people think. And I'm going to tell you the same thing that I always say. And it's something that I found very true for myself. When I was younger, I was like that. I, I worried about all the time about what people were going to think. Uh, if I did this or if I wore that. And my mom was like that her whole entire life. There were certain clothes that she wouldn't wear because she thought she thought they weren't appropriate for a woman of her age. You know, what are people going to think if I wear this or if I go here or go there? Who cares? Um, that was when, you know, as I got older, I started realizing that, you know, what other people think of me, that's their business. It doesn't have anything to do with me. Um, I don't let it affect me. Some people in your life are going to love you. Some people aren't. Some people aren't going to like you. It's like that for all of us because we ha all have different personalities. We all have different qualities, different characteristics. They appeal to some people. To other people, they don't. So don't ever worry about what anyone, how anyone else sees you. You know, you are with you for your whole entire life. You are the one that needs to be happy. You are the one that needs to be accepting of yourself. When you can let go of that idea that what anybody else thinks matters, it does give you this huge feeling of freedom. Because now, no matter what you do, where you go, you know, what you eat, what you wear, anything, has no bearing on anyone else. It's only your opinion of yourself that matters. Everybody sees things through, you know, their own, their own perspective, their own lens, all based on what they've seen throughout their life up to that point. So you can't let um, how they view something be your truth because it isn't. Only you know your truth. And it's important that you take that power back and you stand in that truth. So I hope that resonates with you, Sam Sam. Devin. Devin, Devin, Devin. Oh, this is fun. Go on an adventure. Now, the, when you first hear that, you might think you need to pack up and go on a vacation. And it doesn't have to be something like that. Um, it says, today is the day to try something daring. Something daring. We're not talking about jumping out of a plane or bungee jumping or anything like that. 
but just maybe something that's a little bit out of your comfort zone. Now, you're the only person that's going to know what that would be. And, you're, you know, that's not something that you have to share. But they want you to have a new adventure. You need that. You need that excitement and that fun. Um, so try something new, something a little daring, something that's outside of your comfort zone. You know, that's where all the rewards are beyond our comfort zone. And we ne we're never going to know that unless we step beyond our comfort zone. Comfort zones call that for a reason. That's where it's comfortable. But do you really want to stay in that place? Anybody want to stay in that place forever? No. Not at all. Because what good is that going to do you? You know? Sure, you may be like comfy and cozy and all warm and snuggly. But your life is just going to stay like that. It's going to be stagnant just like that. And, and nobody wants that. Okay. Let's see what we have for Tiffany. And, you know, while I'm thinking of it, Tiffany's show is on Sunday at 8 p.m. Spiritual Insights, amazing show. Check her out. <clears throat> and Robin, Robin's Cosmic Soul Food, is Tuesday night's amazing show. Check her out. Um, hmm. Tiffany, review your re responsibilities. Not all responsibilities are ours to hold. Don't take on more than you need to. Um, <clears throat> but I kind of feel in a way, and I was, I used to be like this too. Sometimes I guess I am a little bit, you know, let's say there's a, something going on and you feel like well if if i do this part of it and i do all that all this and maybe it's like a a, a joint venture you and other people um and you tend to take on more than what you need to is what i'm feeling and i can understand that because a lot of times we want to do things our own way or a certain way and other people don't always have that same touch, right? They don't have this, they don't add the same things to something as you do. But just don't let it, don't let that, let you take on more than you need to take on. If that makes sense at all. I feel like I got a little um, twisted in words, but I think you know what I mean. Just don't take on more. And more and more and more and more. And then everything gets overwhelmed. And we've all done this at one time or another. I know. We all have. So I just pulled a card for the collective. And it says it is time to celebrate. And it's so cool because what I was thinking, when, what I felt when I saw that is, yes, we all have so much to celebrate. You know, we have so much amazing things that are coming our way. We have this beautiful new future that we are creating. Um, and there's a lot to be excited about. New ideas coming through, new projects, new people coming into our lives. There's so much going on. And it's so much fun. You know? So do what you guys need to do as far as getting out of your own way. Um Oh, Tiffany says, yes, I know what you mean. Thank you so much for your message. You're welcome. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Devin. Um, we all have so much more to do. So much more to do while we're here. And we all have so many more gifts. Probably some that, that like we don't even have a clue about yet. But you're going to start getting those little nudges. Getting those little, you know, inklings that, you need to be doing something. Maybe it's just that feeling of, I need to be doing something different. Or I, I, I'm feeling a pull here, but you're not quite sure what it is yet. It will be revealed. It will be revealed. That's how it was for me when, with Reiki. Year, like over, gosh, this was like in the 1990s. And I heard the word Reiki. Knew no clue what it was. 
no clue about it at all. Just heard the word, and I'm, I knew that was something that I was that was going to be associated with me. And yes, then eventually it was, and I found out what it was, and but I had no clue. I just heard the word, and I, it resonated immediately. And that's how we, you know, sometimes get those little little nudges. So we have to be paying attention. We have to be mindful because that could have just slipped on by. I think I saw it somewhere, the word. And I was just like, I just knew. Um, and I'm sure most everybody has had an experience like that, you know, at least once where you might see something or hear something and you just know that's, that resonates with you immediately, even if you don't know what it is. Um, because on some other level, you do know. So work with, um, work with those gifts. If they haven't all been revealed, then work on revealing them. And, you know, you can ask your angels and guides, ask them, you know, please start revealing, you know, some of my other gifts to me so that I will recognize them when I see them. Because it's no good if they reveal something to you and you just stare at it and you're like, what's that supposed to mean? You know, we need to be able to see a message or hear a message that is something that will resonate with us. Um, and we can ask for clarification if you're not clear. Ask for clarification. I, I've done that many times, you know. I'll ask for a sign for this or that. And then I'll get, then, then this, this has been a little while, but I'll get a sign and then I'm like, oh, well, I'm not sure if that was my sign. I really want to believe that it was, but I'm not sure. Angels, okay, can you give me a sign that that was my sign? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but until I started trusting my intuition 100%, that's exactly how that my thoughts went. Exactly. But then when you, then once you start trusting it, then you start getting more and more and more and more information, and it comes faster, and it's easier to trust it really is that's just the hardest part is trusting it 100 percent. because sometimes some of the information you get might sound foreign to you right it might not sound like well of course it doesn't sound like maybe something that you would think or say <clears throat> because it's coming from the spiritual world it's not coming from your mind so follow your intuition just you know it, it changes your life when you do. It really does. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. This has been great. Um, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a really great week. And start noticing, noticing this new energy. Notice if you see feel changes. You don't have to see them, but you can feel them. Just tap into that and see what you notice. See how it feels for you. But you guys have a great week, and I'll see you next week. I love you all so, so much. Good night, everybody. Thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed the show. 